What is up everyone, DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel today. We're going to talk about the Engine DJ software and also the software on the controller, how to get those things updated on your laptop, how to get them updated on your controller, how to stay up to date, things like that. It's been a little while since I've messed with my <laughs> Prime Go, so I definitely want to show you how to get that updated. I'm also going to show how to do that on the Prime 4 in a later video as well, so stay tuned for that and just how to stay updated. I know there's always new people joining the Den and DJ market here and also joining Engine DJ software to be able to get prepared to do different things. It's been a little while for me, but I still love the controllers and I still have them in my collection. So definitely wanna kind of make this update video now that they have really cool things coming up in the update, so you definitely wanna stay updated, always fixing bugs and things like that. So thank you so much for tuning in to DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. All I'm trying to do is help, be helpful, do that research for you, kind of give it to you as easy as possible, show you the best ways that I know how to get things done, and then leave some links, or in this case, just kind of leave some links on some of these controllers in case you're interested in looking at some of this equipment. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please join the Martini Nation. We are steadily growing, and it's exciting. Thank you to all my great subscribers and all the you know positive feedback and just trying to help the channel grow and for also you know all the great questions and support that you guys bring so thank you so much let's get into the video today without further ado you have a new update it's been out for a little while i'm a little bit behind but i definitely like i said i like to do these updates because i always know there's new people starting out and they're looking exactly for these updates they're not looking for the old updates so you know they're searching for the 3.1 update and so hopefully they'll check out my video and show them how to get it so done. we're going to show you today on the prime go it's really easy it's almost automatic i'm going to show you the manual way on the prime 4 in another video but i wanted to show you also on the laptop how to get your software updated as well so we're going to show both today hopefully i can keep the video uh, low down to a minimum but i just want to talk about a couple of the updates that they're bringing in this new download the 3.1.0 and it is for your Mixstream Pro. So I could show it on that as well, but we'll see what happens. SC Live, the Mixstream Pro Plus, Prime 4, Prime Plus, Prime Go, the SC500, the SC600M Prime, all those uh, you will be able to get downloads for updates and things like that. So definitely update all your equipment. It's always good to keep those updated anyways. They're always fixing bugs and things like that so but some of the new things in the updates since 3.0 have been things like a new drop sampler sampler content changes to their uphead display touch fx sampler updates and new main fx which was really a big thing for me i thought that the prime that was one of the big reasons i didn't use the prime for a lot for gigs because they had a really kind of a lack for FX. So now they're going to bring you a bunch of new FX that I am very, very interested in checking out. I definitely will do a video over the new things in the controllers. But like I said, this one's just going to concentrate on getting those updates onto the computers and onto your equipment. That way you can start using them. So now the first thing, of course, you're going to want to do with a controller. We're going to start with the controller. Pretty easy to do. Make sure it's plugged in. So go ahead and plug that in. Make sure you're plugged into power. And then we're gonna fire this up. If you've been using your Prime Go, it should be automatically hooked up to Wi-Fi. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and hook it up to Wi-Fi. And then we're gonna take it from there uh, by switching screens here and show you how to get that done. So All right, so we got you with the controller. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up. So let's go ahead and do, go ahead and turn it on. The power button is on the back. And like I said, we got plugged in right here. You can see it's plugged in. See, now I have a really old update on this controller so it is going to want me to update right away so we want to go ahead and get that done so it's going to take a minute to fire up showing what we got here when it kind of updates it also is going to look at your library so we want i'm going to go ahead and say go ahead and plug in any sources that you normally have plugged into this so if you have your music i would go ahead and plug that in because i've had some issues with that in the past and so just to be on the safe side, we're gonna go ahead and plug in a source that I normally, cause it's gonna analyze your music a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in my media. 
my little hard drive here. So I got my hard drive in. We're gonna load my profile too. So you can see my, all my music and everything pops up, no problem. But we're gonna go to the settings here. So you see I just pulled down the Dropbox here. And I've never had any issues with it having any problems with you know being hooked up to my library. So it's not gonna be affected at all if you have your hard drive hooked in at this point or when you're doing any of these updates. I've had no issues with that. So if anybody else has, let me know. Uh, that would be interesting to hear if anybody's had problems with that. So what we already have my Wi-Fi here, so I'm already cooked up to Wi-Fi. So what we're gonna go to is we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go to about update right over here. Let me see if I can move this up just a little bit. So yes, we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go to about update right here. And boom, as soon as you do that, it's asking if you want to do the update. So if this is all over Wi-Fi, it's very easy to do. If you don't get this pop-up or it doesn't allow you to do this, you might have to do it manually. And I have other videos on that, and I'm also gonna make one on the Prime 4 how to do it manually. So we're gonna do that as well, but like I said, this one is the fastest, easiest way to do it. It's automatic. It's gonna say, there's a new firmware, 3.1.0 available, and we wanna do this update to the firmware, and we're gonna go ahead and do it. So we just hit update. Do you wanna do the, now it's asking you, do we wanna do it from a computer or the web or, you know, we definitely wanna get it done from the web right now. We're hooked up to Wi-Fi, everything's good to go. We're plugged in, so we have no issues that this shouldn't work. We're gonna go ahead and do the update. So it is gonna update, it is going to take a little bit, so give it some time. Do not unplug it, hopefully you don't lose your Wi-Fi or anything like that, because that could definitely mess up the download. Right now it looks like we're good to go. It is downloading the firmware update, and like I said, just make sure everything stays plugged in, you're not messing with anything, all that good stuff, and everything should be good to go. So we are still updating and updating is almost done. Like I said, do not hit power. Hopefully you don't have a power outage or nothing like that. Uh, and everything should update okay. So we're still going. It is gonna take a while. I'm kinda just wanting to stay live here. I don't want to f f uh, speed things up because I just really wanna show you that it is pretty easy to do and usually they're pretty fast. I want to show you everything that it looks like it's doing. That way, when you do it, you don't think that something messed up uh, just in case. So, and you can see that it is 3.1.0 on the bottom. This controller has updated. Everything's good. Let's make sure that it. what it'll do is it'll shut down, then it will turn back on, and then it will go back into the everything that you've been doing. So it automatically went to my Wi-Fi page, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out, but it did go show you where, where my Wi-Fi was connected. Now look, at, we have this new bar, it says sampler content, that's really cool, that's part of the new update, so that's very, very cool. The first page it did show me though, it just showed me it updated my library too, and that was very, very fast. And then yes, we want to show, do that. And we're back, we're ready to go. It has some of the new features I already see with the touch FX and things like that. So everything is updated on the Prime Go and the Prime Go is as good to go. You're ready to be, it's ready to be used. It's ready to start messing with those new features. So that's very, very, very cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. So yes, I want to turn off the player. Everything is updated, we're good to go. So you, it is okay to shut down. Things I recommend is when you shut down, you let it go through its process, you wait to unplug your hard drive so you don't corrupt anything. Once it is fully shut down, everything's shut down right here, you can tell that it's off, no gray screen, those types of things. Uh, I can go ahead and unplug my hard drive. So that is unplugged and you could unplug this or if you need to charge it up, do what you need to do and we are good with the Prime Go. So we're gonna go ahead and move to the laptop now. We're back, and I wanna show you now how to get Engine DJ software on your laptop, get it updated, all that good stuff. Showed you how to get it done over the Wi-Fi with your controller, get that firmware update, make sure you get that everything updated 
start using those new features and the updates to correct some of the bugs and fixes in that software. So they're always doing these updates. It is kind of regular. So it is something that you definitely want to look up. I know I have an old update on this particular laptop, so I'm showing you how to get this done. But it is pretty easy. We're going to show you how to get done. I want to show you a couple of things really quick before we do this. I'll show you the desktop here. Just talk about Engine DJ software very, very briefly. You know, you can build and manage your DJ library. You can transfer stuff to these controllers through the Engine software, which is, it works very good to organize music. It also works pretty good for exporting and putting new songs into your library if you have these types of controllers, Prime 4, Mixstream Pro Plus, all those types of uh, controllers. So definitely pretty cool. They have Dropbox. Uh, integration now so they have a track preview now uh, just a lot of cool updates that they've been continually adding to engine DJ uh, software to make it better and it's definitely been improving very very well so I just wanted to show the system requirements for engine DJ which is pretty simple like everything is growing fast you know I just showed a video on the juice software and you know they're putting stems and stems use a lot of uh, processing power so definitely very very cool but you're gonna you're always upgrading your laptop it seems these days so just wanted to show the requirements they re require for the software this one is not bad at all i5 processor or better which is you know the run of the mill requirements four gigs of ram which is still pretty you can get a pretty inexpensive laptop and still be able to use engine dj software so that's very very cool uh, that would be your run-of-the-mill uh, laptop with only four gigs of ram uh, intel hd graphics were better direct x capability and it only takes 150 megabytes of available application space as well which is not big at all so very very cool on the windows side it could be windows 10 or 11 still and then on the Mac OS side, they have Mac OS 11, 12, 13, i5 processor or faster, Apple M1 uh, could work as well. Still only four gigs of RAM, the Intel HD graphics, internal sound card, or core audio capabilities, and then still that only 150 megabytes of available application space, free for free space. I want to talk about that briefly. No need to really get into more than that, but you just know the requirements. And like I said, those are really, really low compared to other softwares right now. So definitely not a big uh, issue for most laptops. So let's go ahead and go to the downloads now. So here is the OS right here. This is more for your firmware updates for your devices to manually download. So we want to kind of go over here to the desktop. We're going to go ahead and just download for windows this is for windows it's not for mac i don't have a mac currently that i would put dj software on i have an older mac that i'll show you guys a little bit later in the season and talk about mac but i'm not a big mac user so we'll go back to the windows here and we're gonna go ahead and just download this update so once you download the update uh, I wish they would actually produce something in the software where you could just do the update through the software. You could go somewhere, there's a little checkbox, maybe a little settings marker, where you could actually just go there and then it would take you automatically to the update you need and then you could download it. It's that easy on the controller side. I think for the desktop side, it should be that easy as well. But you can also just come here and do what we're doing right now. All we're gonna do is I usually have no problems opening it from here and doing the update. Some people will say drop it in your desktop um, in a folder, but I usually have no problem just opening it directly from the download file from the download page. So we're going to go ahead and do that today just to show you that I usually have no problem with that. I went and go ahead and double click it. I'm also doing OBS recording right now, so we will see how quick it is and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and open this file here. Don't know if it opened. There we go. All right, so it did open twice. So I want to shut one of these down real quick. Yes. 
Okay, so I accidentally opened it twice. Don't do that, being a little impatient. But we are open here now with one of them, so we're good to go. So give it a little time. It will open up. This is all the technical conditions and all that kind of stuff. So we were going to go ahead and agree with that. And we're going to go ahead and install. So if you have it already installed on to your laptop, no worries. What it's going to do is it's going to replace it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to go allow the changes. Pretty solid program. I have no issues with it. So like I said, so it's going to go ahead and do the update. No problem. It's going to take a little while. I definitely want to show you how long it takes because it doesn't take that long. It's a relatively short update usually so you just make sure you just let it go through its process don't interrupt it or any kind of that setup is successful we're gonna go ahead and close this now we can go ahead and close this all the page here but you just had to go to engine software we could even just search engine dj and it will come up to the downloads or os downloads right there so if i didn't cover that before sorry notice that it threw engine dj software right here i usually have it over here and let's go ahead and just open it up make sure everything is good to go and we have the current update and it does say on the bottom right here 3.1.0 and we're updated so it's going to open all my music up again get everything going and it is updated ready to pair with your controllers or whatever you need to do and has all the updates and everything you need to go for engine dg software so thank you so much for tuning in today I'm not going to get into anything else just wanted to show you how to get those updates done on your laptop and on a controller via wi-fi i will be showing how to manually do that some people like to do it manually it is a little bit more tricky but i'll definitely show you that in a future video on its own thank you so much stay tuned for that tutorial as well updating the prime 4 manually that's all i got for you today thank you so much it's been dj martini midwest reviews if this is helpful at all please leave a like subscribe join the martini nation all that good stuff thank you so much we'll talk to you all later